be, be in that Ark of the Covenant, you know, from Moses to Yahweh Shai, okay? It's only for those prophets that were sanctified from the very beginning of time. That's right, brother. And yeah, you're dealing with dealing with Yahweh Shai, these scriptures. This is this is literally his, his the consciousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So you're dealing with light. Now you shine light through a prism, it, it breaks, you see seven different spectrums. So there's levels to light. Yep. So yep. when you come into this thing, there's levels to this. You don't come in at top level consciousness. Like the brother said, you start off with the meat on a lower vibration and you work your way up until you get that full spectrum. But we don't get that full spectrum until you have a shot come back. The brother, the apostles, you know, they on that, they up there on that high level of consciousness, of Masiyat consciousness. You know, that's why we give double honors and we follow those men. Because they've been there and done that. So I just wanted to speak on that right quick. Yeah, there's, there's levels to this thing, man. Yeah, I, I ain't even told these damn Edomites, you know, before camp. You know, I was like, hey, I told them, hey, this ain't entertainment, man. You know, hey, hey, this, yeah. this, this, is, this is power. You know? It's rude. This is power up here you're dealing with, which, which the brother had talked about as being the spirit. Because we can't do any of this on our own, nah. you know? You can go work out and, you know, read and, and like the brother had said, you know, you can get you every version of the Bible all you want to. If you ain't got your house shot, you ain't got no power. You know what I'm saying? You up there, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, beating at the air, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You beating at the air, bro. You ain't, you ain't gonna ever get nowhere. <laughs> That's right. This is Acts uh, chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. And we already talked about whose sins can be forgiven, you know, uh, pursuing the Acts 5th chapter in the 31st verse. It says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted. And, and that conversion is also talking about being transformed yeah, by the renewing of your mind. You know, that, that conversion is taking something that was once structural or linear, you know, in, in, in shape or form and making it dynamic. Because when you go into the word power, uh, it goes back dynamos, you know, going back in those, those several, several layers or uh, uh, aspects of light. Which is really, you know, a form of wisdom. You know? You, hey, hey, you, you, yeah. hey, you go on your tool belt, you know what I'm saying? You pull out whatever a tool you need according to the wisdom of your Alba Shimei Al Shah. It says, Repent, this is back in Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Mm. And he shall send Yahushua HaMashiach, which before was preached unto you. It says, whom the heaven must receive until the time of restitution of all things. Right, to his kingdom be restored on the earth. That's the restitution of all things, restitution Man, I need to look that up. But it, it, it basically means to restore. Yeah, basically to restore. Yeah, uh, tuition is a payment. Mm. Rest, restitution, re, repay. Uh, I, I believe, I mean, you know, restitution. I know tuition uh, should be some type of payment. But, but yeah, I mean, because what was taken away? You know, his kingdom. Yeah. You know? Or, you know, I mean, you know, through through uh, disobedience of our people, you know, trying to keep the laws 100%. So, so Yahweh Shai had to come to reclaim what is his, you know? That that down payment that he made for uh, the nation of Israel as a whole, but specifically for the elect on this side, you know? You got that? Are you looking up in the scripture? Oh, I did pull up the definition. Okay. And here, uh, restitution, it just says, uh, yeah, it's not a good one. Oh, the first definition that used the word restoration, it say the restoration of something lost or stolen mm. to its proper owner. Mm. And 
then number two said, recompense for injury or loss. Right, yeah, 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 restitution, man. You know, but because, because not only was uh, bloodshed amongst Israel, but more specifically, the name of Yahweh Shai was crucified here in, the, in this society, you know, and, and, and his physical body. So, yeah, even going back to Numbers, where it talks about uh, uh, you can't repay uh, that which was uh, uh, shed by blood unless you shed blood. Mm. Roughly paraphrasing. That's that restitution. You know, that's the, that's the restoring. That's the judgment that's going out here on the face of this earth to all you other heathen nations. You know, uh, just like it's, it's talked about in uh, Ezekiel, the uh, 35th chapter, especially for you Edomites, where it says, uh, 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 since thou hast loved blood, hey, blood shall pursue you. Pursue thee. You know, right. that's restitution. That's perfect balance. That's energy. That's completeness. You know, or as the brother had talked about, that's that war. <laughs> that's that, that's yep. that, uh, uh, Synthesis and, and thesis. thesis yep. You know? That's synthesis. Coming together with for the synthesis. That's right, brother. Hey, hey, hey. I get that show out the park, man. What's up with it? Oh. You know, oh okay. All right. He said, he said, yeah. That's oh. what war is. Yeah, right. Right. And, and and ultimately, war comes to a conclusion. You know? Hey, and hey. By solution. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know? And, and, and if ever necessary again. See, America being destroyed will be the final conclusion on all things, you know? Because all people are going to see it as a memorial being destroyed. Just like they have, you know, the Washington Memorial and all the rest of these other, 9-11, you know, remember 9-11? America being destroyed, America being destroyed will, will, be, will be a, a, a Okay, for all nations of what happens when you come up against Yahweh by Shimei and 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 his prophets, you know. Okay, this is back in Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah, that's what I was speaking on earlier. Us mounting up with wings of an eagle. Right, because we're going to be refreshed. We're going to be renewed, man. Right. We're going to be made new again. Mm. We're going to have spiritual powers, you know, all Israelites. But, you know, most high, he's going to start with his elect. Certain of the elect going to get it on this side. And a lot of them going to get it when they get to the chair, when they, and, uh, as is mentioned in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, in that moment, in the twinkling of an eye during the rapture. The true rapture, right. when they caught up. Take rapture it. just means caught up, right. And the clouds with your house shot. You know, so some brothers going to get it on this side. Some brothers going to get it, won't get it to, uh, you know, the last minute. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we all eventually will be renewed and restored and refreshed. Yeah, brother. Done. It says, and he shall send your house shot, Mashiach, which before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things. That's why Yahweh Shah spoke in uh, John the 16th chapter also about I must go, I must, I must leave, you know. Where I go, you cannot come. Because yep. he had to go and be received up into the heavens. He went to sit at the right hand of the heavenly father. Next to power, the highest power. That's right. That's who we, that's who we serve, man. That's the team that we own. <laughs> we on the team of the man that sits at the right hand of power. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had to get renewed. Yeah, you know, yeah. Hey, uh, dealing in that flesh, he was like, man, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, bro. Right. You know, even though he had to, you know, drink that cup. But, but yeah, hey, sitting there on the right hand of the Father, you know, hey, that's that's cure. That's healing. You know, that, that power, That's the same curing and healing in which we're receiving through these holy scriptures. Beautiful. It says, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution. Going to show you, that's part of prophecy. It says, of all things, which Yahweh hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Exactly. 
all prophets prophesied of the coming of Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son of the heavenly father. All of them. They went into the return of our Lord, the restoring of our kingdom. Yeah, America's gonna be destroyed real soon. That's right. So y'all better get right. For you Hebrew Israelites, for the rest of you nation, you so-called white people, for pastor slaves. Prepare to be the servants of the Hebrew Israelites. You got it out. It says, for Moses truly sent unto the fathers a prophet, uh, Salaki, for Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. This is what the brother read straight from Deuteronomy. That's right. See, they was quoting all, they were precepting. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget who that was in Acts the third chapter. That might have been Peter. Yep, but God. he was precepting uh, Deuteronomy the uh, 18th chapter, mm -hmm. which is what the brother just read. Now that also shows the balance between the Old and the New Testament that they are, they both were one. Exactly. <laughs> but the point is, right, all prophets spoke on Yahweh Shai and prophesied of his return, or his, his, his first coming and his second coming. And we should uh, listen to him. Done. But the problem is, well, it ain't no problem. Ain't no yeah. recording, bro. Yeah, no, no pictures. The most high didn't want all Israel to accept Yahweh Shai. So if you can if you can receive the words that me and the brother is pushing out, then you are one of the blessed of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Just to be able to hear these words. That's right. It's a blessing. That's right, brother. Now what you take and do with it, hey, that's on you. You gotta, you gotta, as the brother read earlier, you gotta make this thing produce fruit. Yep. That's why you are giving this gospel. It's all about producing fruit. It ain't about just knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite and, and you know, saying double double honors to the apostles and you how about Hashem, you how shy. This is about putting this into action. You know, we on this third, we in this third realm, man. This 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 physical realm, and this all of this is a realm of, of, of energy into action. Anything you want to make happen. It's going to take, you don't have to put some energy or effort behind it. No different with this word. If you want to produce fruit, knowing is half the battle. The rest of the battle is coming out, putting it into work. Yep. Putting this knowledge uh, into effect to where it, it uh, bring forth that fruit, like I said. Things are coming to fruition. What you had, right? Uh, quick precept, and then we can get back in there. <clears throat> this, this is Matthew chapter 10, <clears throat> verse 26. That's right. It says, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. We are in the time of revealing. Why? How do you know that? Because you see brothers out on the highways and the byways. Mm -hmm. What are they out there doing on the highways and byways? Right. Pushing the truth of Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shah. See, this kingdom was built up upon a lie. Done. This kingdom was everything about it, man. From the governmental structure to the history that they teach in the public food system. Yep. It's all a lie. Right. So when we come out and we speak the truth in the kingdom of lies, it's going to expose those lies. Mm -hmm. So we are in the time of revealing, the time of exposure. And the main person that's being exposed are you so-called white people. That's right. Edomites. Y'all being exposed by the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Go ahead, Ak. And, and one more thing is, he covered the faces of the judges right. and of the saints. So that's also being revealed. Uh, just like we had told uh, Jake, you know, he an Israelite. You know, that, that's something that's been covered up, you know, uh, for a while. As far as who we are as a people, not Negroes, not Latinos, oh. not Native Americans. Oh. Those things are also being revealed. Right. You know, and, and, and more importantly, the name of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh White Yahweh Shah. That's being revealed. You know? So, so yeah, these are the things in which the so called white man and all the rest of these other heathen nations didn't want us to learn or to find out. That's right, brother. <laughs> That's right. It says. Them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. 
Right. So, so yeah, the brother was talking about how even just being able to hear this truth is a blessing. Yeah, it is. You know, but, but not only uh, once you receive it, there, there's more that needs to be done with it. You know, you gotta you gotta preach it because we're in the land of darkness. That that was a secret that the Lord revealed to us. It says, oh, it's a lie. It says, what I tell you in darkness, that ye speak in light. That's right. Yeah, speaking in light. So we ought to bring it out in the open for all to hear. Now we out here, we'll tell you this and we'll tell you this time and time again. We're only out here for the elect. But the Heavenly Father has a message for all these heathens out here, man. And we, we let that be known. That's right. We tell you Edomites that you're going into slavery. That's right. You other heathen nations, y'all are going into slavery also. But y'all will also be restored as we are. But y'all not gonna be on our level though. Uh -uh. You know, y'all gonna go, y'all gonna be on y'all level underneath us. But Esau, you so-called white people gonna be at the bottom of the pile. It's like who at the bottom right now? Right. Us, us Hebrew Israelites. We don't get respect from no nation on this planet. Not even our own women respect us. Right. But the Heavenly Father's gonna flip that script and we're gonna be on top. Man, what this scripture say? Uh, first should be last, yep. and the last should be first. That's right. Right. So we going into our kingdom. Understand that, man. So right, we come out here, man, in the power and the spirit and the grace and the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And we have no fear, man. We have nothing to fear of, man. And like you saw the cop come up here, just like the scripture says. Mm -hmm. The scripture say, uh, agree with thine adversary whilst thou art in the way with him. So if we can continue to preach this word. We could have told him, fuck you, yep. you got a right to be out here and all that, but that would have brought contention. That, hey, that and was strife. Wisdom. Yeah, that was wisdom. Right, that's how wisdom works. You see? Go he, ahead, he, he just want, he, he just wanted some rounding points. Right, you know what I'm like saying? Because <laughs> he didn't he didn't came out here before. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw his last name, last name, McQuarrie or McCary. Yeah, he didn't been out here before. Uh this is back in uh this is a little bit more Acts. This is Acts 3 and 28, uh, 23. Right. It says, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet, that prophet, Yahushua, or what? Yeah, yeah, no, right. That's Yahushua. Shall be destroyed from among the people. It says, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant, which Yahweh by Shemuel Shai made with our fathers, That's right. <laughs> saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Ooh, say we are the children of the prophets. That's what it, that's how it worded. Yep, God, ye are the children, are the of, the children of the prophets. You see that? And that go back when you when you uh, read second in the book of Second King, it speaks about you had during that time of Elisha and Elijah, the uh, what they call the sons of the prophets. You know, and that, that's some of us that's here in the last days preaching the gospel. You know, we were the sons of the prophets. Uh, like the in the New Testament states, the children of the prophets. Done. So we're doing the work of the prophets. So it's, you know, this ain't no, it, it, it was a mystery at one time. That's why the brother read what the Heavenly Father spoke to us in the darkness to speak and bring it out in the light. Done. So now it's no more mystery. Well, you know, to the elect anyway. To all you that's out here lost is gonna continue to be a mystery. Because, you know, it's not for you, as I said. All you gotta do is go to the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, to tell you the most I didn't want everybody to get this. Because you have wicked men amongst Israel. And those wicked men, man, they, they, hey, as it's mentioned in Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah 5, uh, yeah, Jeremiah the fifth chapter say that deeds surpass the wicked. Yep, that's right. You have some Israelites whose deeds surpass the wickedness of the so-called white man. You know? So, uh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, that John, the John. There's a little bit more in there? John, John. Okay. This is back in John chapter five, verse 46. 
because everything in which we were talking about was to show how even in Moses' time, he was speaking of Yahweh Shah. So likewise, Peter, all the rest of the prophets, that the same